Oh my god, it might not actually be cooked. Oh, this this doesn't look right. It looks sort of old and manky. They found a cigarette butt in their food. Anyway, let's tuck in. Today I'm reviewing Britain's worst takeaways. Now I've done dirtiest takeaways before, but those often aren't always rated that badly by people. Today, however, it's bad. <laughs> really bad. Honestly, it'd be a miracle if I haven't got food poisoning by the end of this. And who's to say food poisoning's that bad? After you've had your illness, it gives you a new perspective on life. Unless you die, obviously, in which case that's that's not great. I'll be starting off at three star takeaways and gradually building my way up to a one star takeaway. Perks of the job. Okay, up first we have got Dixie's Chicken. Now this place, <laughs> this place is rated 3.7 stars, so not too bad to begin with, but this is a place where me and my friends have been to before, and my friends got raw chicken from this place. When I said they got raw chicken, they didn't order off the menu, I mean they ordered chicken and it was raw. And so what have I done? Chicken burger, and a water obviously, plenty system. Okay, the chips are overflowing, these chips are keen. To be eaten. Oh my word, it is soggy. It is actually wet. This is not a good place to start. Okay, we've got some. Oh my god, it is soaked. I asked for a hash brown and they've put the hash brown inside it, which wasn't quite what I was expecting. Uh, let's tuck in. Let's slice open this burger and see if it's raw. I mean, can you get chicken fillets wrong? I mean, you can, but also, can you? It's cooked! I think. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. This is such a psychological battle. Oh, I'm praying that this is cooked. I'm really struggling with this. I don't know if I can. I'm not sure if I can swallow that. It's. I don't know if it tastes right. Why is the water right up to the top? pH 8. Have you ever seen a water brag about being pH 8? Alkaline. This is alkaline water. It should be pH 7. That's the whole point of water. It's not water if it's not pH 7, surely. <laughs> Getting the alkaline coming through. Look, it's not going to win any presentation awards. Look, it's limp. It's a limp chip. Nobody wants a limp chip. Look, it looks depressed. I just have a bad feeling about that chicken. I don't know. There's just something who says whilst taking another bite. Maybe it's just the hash brown that's in there as well. Maybe that's why. Let's take the hash brown out. You see, now it tastes better. I think I was getting the hash brown in there. That's why it was tasting weird. Who has hash brown in a burger? Are you locking up? 5.2 out of 10. This burger looks like a war zone. Look at the state of it. Quick, on to the next one. Okay, up next, it's Chico time. Yes, we are here. Uh, Chico, oh, it might be Chico's actually. Chico time doesn't work as well, does it? Rated 3.5 out of 5. Let's see what Chico's got to offer. Now, bear in mind, this cost me 3 99 For that, you get a water, Saka, once again. And then you get yourself burger and chips. This is a cheeseburger and chips and a water, 3 99 Don't mind if I do. However, it might taste horrible. There is that. 3.5 out of 5. You should be expecting something fairly decent here. And again, for this price point, 3 99 Basically free food in this economy. It's literally a plain cheeseburger, which is fine by me. And fingers crossed, it's not riddled with a disease. Let's tuck in. Mmm. Do you know what? That isn't half bad, you know. That is a proper takeaway burger. It's not messing about with any of this iceberg lettuce nonsense. It's saying, I'm a burger. I'm meant to not be good for you. Just shove it in your gob, you fat pig. That... It's not getting messy. I can eat it with my hands nice and easily. The chips are better than the last chips I just had. These have a greater rigidity. I'm going to use that word. I don't know if that's an actual word or not. I'm going with it. I'm pleasantly surprised by this burger. It's not afraid to be average. That's my respect about it. It's not trying to be your gourmet burger. It's own 6 out of 10. A bit like me. That's a stretch, Jesus. I'm like a 4. In fact, thinking about it, this burger is a lot like me. It doesn't put any effort into its image. It just does what it says on the tin. Fire play to Chico. I think this might end up being the best one of the video, this, you know. I know we're early days still, but I'm, I'm calling it now because it's about to go downhill. <laughs> okay, next up we've got crispy fish and chips. Fun fact for you about this place is on an evening or on a weekend or whatever, they play dance music, club music really, really loud in there. It basically turns into a nightclub where you can also get fish and chips. Right up next, we have got crispy fish and chips. They're rated 3.3 .3 out of five. Let's see what we've got here. Fish and chips. The fish is looking a bit sorry for itself, is that fish? I'm not being harsh here, am I? But to me, that doesn't feel particularly big. If you compare it to the length of a knife. I mean, that's a, that's a feeble fish, if I've ever seen one. Jesus, I thought I was thin. Christ. I'm starting to realise why this is rated 3.3 .3 now. But hopefully it tastes all right. It's got your classic fish and chip chips, you know, your classic ones. Anyway, this is all about the fish, this. I've opened it up. Let's see what the batter's like. Oh, God, no. That's tragic, is that? I feel sorry for the fish. I mean, the batter is... 
not crispy. It doesn't feel like there's got much flavour in there. It tastes cheap. It doesn't taste of much else, to be honest with you. You can even tell when you cut it, there's no crispiness to it whatsoever. I mean, you feel for the fish, really, in this. If you're going to kill me, at least wrap me up in a nice batter. Because I'm sure what it would say if you asked it. The fish part of the fish tastes pretty good. But I'm in it for the batter. I bloody love a batter. And to be honest, the, the balls up the batter, if anything. That is probably one of the worst fish and chip fishes I've ever had. Disappointing. I'm going to say 5.9 out of 10. I've never seen a fish look so uninspired before. It doesn't look like what it wants to be here at all. I mean, look at the skin. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be stretching. It should be breaking away. It should be crispy. It's like snake skin. It's squidgy in my mouth. That shouldn't be happening. No, I mean, that's an absolute shambles. I mean, if this is some of the better food we're going to be having today, then God knows what we've got coming up because this is tragic. There's just nothing, nothing inspiring about that carcass. Honestly, I feel like calling the RSPCA because this is, this is a tragedy. In future, forget the dance floor. Spend more time figuring out the fish and chip side of things. Right, okay, onto the two star takeaways. And I just checked the reviews. I wish I didn't, to be honest with you. This place is rated 2.4 star and somebody left a review saying that they found a cigarette butt in their food, deep fried and in their food. <laughs> Anyway, let's tuck in. Such a glamorous job, isn't it? Right, okay, we have got ourselves the chicken for the sweet and sour chicken, but it's not in the sauce, it comes separately. Yeah, it's literally sweet and sour sauce. There's no vegetables or anything with it. It is just sauce. I mean, I never thought I'd have to check the food for cigarette butts before, but here we are. The chicken balls are different to what I'm used to, to be honest with you. Sweet and sour chicken, I don't feel like it usually looks like that, at least when I've bought it anyway before. I feel like we should cut one open. Let's see what's going on. Please be cooked, please be cooked. Oh my God, it might not actually be cooked. All jokes aside, that might not actually be cooked. Oh my God, it is pink inside. Ah, oh, this, this doesn't look right. Maybe I've got this wrong. I don't know, I'm not an expert. But does that look a bit pink? Or am I just seeing things? It's not like outrageously pink, but I don't know, at the bottom there, I just feel like it, it looks pinkish to me. Or maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe I look for things where there isn't any, but oh God, I don't know about that. You see, that doesn't look as white as I'd like that to look. That might actually be raw. Usually I like my balls cooked. I don't know if I can eat them. <sighs> I think for the first time in the takeaway videos that I've done, I actually have to bottle the e eating it, even trying it, I think, because I just, I don't trust that at all. I am going to try the duck. Uh, I don't think you can really get duck wrong, can you? I mean, having said that, who knows what's in there? It might not even be duck. Who knows? To be fair, though, even if it is a pigeon or whatever, like... <sighs> Much of a muchness, isn't it? It's all a flying animal. It's a bird. Jesus, okay. What tube is that coming out of it? Is, that, is it a bone or what? It's got a tube hanging out of it. Bit of hoisin sauce. You don't, don't mind if I do? Just a light sprinkle. Okay, so let's try at least something from this place. Let's see what it tastes like. I've had a lot of duck pancakes in my life, so I can give my experienced opinion on this. 2.4 star takeaway. Do you know what? That's excellent. Really impressed with that. Still not sure if it's a duck, but if it is... It's a great duck. You imagine it being quite a loving duck. I think it was probably part of the gaggle of ducks. And I think it was probably one of the main characters in that gaggle. I think that, if it is duck, I think that is a very good duck pancake. Poison sauce was lovely. Really good flavour on that. Cucumber was from a high quality family. I think it's cooked. It looks relatively cooked. I wouldn't really know, to be honest with you. I wouldn't know what an uncooked duck looks like. Aside from having a beak. Having just tried the rice and the sweet and sour sauce, I'm going to give that a 4.4. The rice and the sauce... Truly horrific. <coughs> that, I think, is actually one of the worst takeaways I've had. I know, obviously, the duck pancakes were great, but everything else, horrific. On to the next one. Right, okay, up next is Amazing Menu. So amazing, in fact, that it's been rated 2.1 stars out of five. Mm. Oh, suspicious. I've got myself some salt and pepper chicken. Jesus, wow. Smells coming out of that, it's pungent. This isn't really my thing. Why did I order this? Just one of those moments where you go a bit mental. I don't know. People talk about salt and pepper chicken. Never had it, bought it. And I've also got myself a pizza. If one thing wasn't enough, we got two. It's crusty, and it's a little bit on the on the burnter side. There's no chance of this not being cooked. Yes, let's tuck in. 2.1 star, why could this be? Okay, let's get into a bit of this chicken, see what's going on. People bang on about salt and pepper chicken. I never had it, like a wing there. That's off-putting, isn't it? I don't really like my chicken to be chicken-shaped. Is it just me? I mean, that's its kneecap or whatever there, isn't it? Or is that, that's its, like, elbow, I think. Hello. Right, is it cooked? This is the big question. Is it cooked? The moment of truth. Oh, it looks cooked. It's cooked. <laughs> what a novel thing. Chicken that is actually edible, we think. Is that a bit of fluff? I don't know. Anyway, let's tuck in. Good, okay. Taste of chicken. Bloody spicy. I mean, look, it's, it's chicken with a kick to it at the end of the day. 
Jesus. Why is it spicy? Because when the salt and pepper are spicy, it's just covered in stuff. What's it coated in? Oh, what's, what's going on there? Looks like it's got chicken pox, ironically. Should we look why this is rated so low? 2.1 star. Do not order from this takeaway. It is a scam. Food was inedible. Undercooked meat. Don't blindly order from this takeaway. It's one of the worst takeaways. Just add some of its chicken. This is undoubtedly the worst food I've ever consumed. I woke up with severe diarrhea and painful stomach ache. Brilliant. Great. That's what awaits us tomorrow. Not exactly rave reviews for amazing menu. I've seen better. I mean, at that point, you've just got to pay for some fake ones, haven't you? Just pay for some fake reviews, because that's an embarrassment. Or close down, one of the two. These are very bony chickens. If I was a chicken, I'd look like this. Worth saying this one has a, a three rating for hygiene as well, so questionable. Right, that's too spicy. What is in that? Get the pizza in here, Jesus. Right, is the chicken on here cooked though? As a pizza connoisseur, let's see what this is like. Bought two chicken related foods, that's that's really risky. That looks cooked. I'm not saying it looks fresh, but it looks cooked. Barbecue chicken pizza, let's, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm, the chicken tastes all right. A little bit chewy, perhaps it's not completely fresh. The crust looks quite hard on the surface, but actually when you bite into them, they're quite friendly, they're quite chewy, quite fluffy. It's like the school bully, outer, hardness to them but when you delve in you realize oh no they're a big soft baby who hasn't been parented properly it's a bit like this pizza sort of a rogue teenager do you know what i think that one is harshly rated i think it's better than 2.1 stars i think it should be at least a three star maybe a 3.5 i'm obviously saying that right now but if things change tomorrow morning then i'll obviously change that opinion i'll want the place burned down etc but for now I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised by this. It's average takeaway food. Oh god, it's the one star one next, doesn't it? Okay, and last but not least is a one star takeaway called Hot Stuff. Rated 1.6 out of 5. This is the worst one. Hopefully it's open. Uh, it's closed. It's very closed. However, I have managed to find another one star takeaway. This place is called Fortune River. It's rated 1.8 stars out of 5. And I've got myself the food from there. Let's take a look at some of the reviews for this place. The chicken is absolutely rancid. I actually feel sick after eating one piece. The chicken stank. Everything was smelly. I ordered their vegetarian chicken and they sent me real chicken. <laughs> I'm absolutely appalled. Do not eat here. Well, here we are. Great. So for our final takeaway, one star. I got myself some spring rolls. Okay, they look nice enough. They smell and, you know, spring rolly. And I've got myself some... Beef in okay sauce. What on earth is that covered in? Can you see what I mean? It looks bizarre. It almost looks like it's sort of covered in dust or something. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got a, like it's not covered in sauce or anything. It just, it's dry and sort of shriveled. It looks sort of old and manky. Let's get stuck in with the spring rolls. These do look pretty normal. I'm not expecting these to be particularly bad. I mean, how can you get a spring roll wrong realistically? Come on. Good bright, good crispiness to it. Inside is tender, it's soft, flavorful. It looks like a spring roll, it tastes like a spring roll. You are a spring roll. They are very good spring rolls. The beef, however, why does it look like that? First of all, the rice doesn't look stale. It looks like it's got some life in it. it smells like rice. It looks like a crusty old man's foot does this beef. So let's mix it in with the sauce and try and disguise it. And suddenly now it looks a lot better. Okay, let's, let's see what this tastes like. Let's plonk a bit of this on. Is it old? Is it rank? Or actually, are these reviews all wrong? Oh, okay. That is an interesting smell. Like it's sort of been found in the loft. It kind of has that feel to it. I don't know. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, now that doesn't feel fresh. Yeah, inside of this doesn't look how I want it to. I don't know. To me, that looks a little bit weird inside. It's a bizarre texture. It's, it's kind of like snot covered beef. Can you get food poisoning from beef? I guess we'll find out. It kind of looks a little bit like when you come off the beach and you've got sand on your feet, you know, you're just trying to like dust your feet off. It looks like that, does this beef. It's covered in particles and specks of something. Where have they found this? Behind the back of the sofa? I might just stick to the spring rolls. Look, I'm not exactly won over by the meat in this, but in comparison to some of the other places we've been to, in comparison to the other Chinese, I'd say this is slightly better. Perhaps people have been a little bit harsh on the reviews. I don't think this should be a 1.8 star out of 5, but I don't think you can really give it more than a... Two and a half, and that's because they're spring rolls. Well, look, it seems as though we've found out that the reviews aren't always right. In a lot of cases, they are, but in some cases, they're probably a little bit over the top. This food, despite being rated 1.8 stars out of five, I don't think it's as disastrous as people are claiming. Although, having said all this, let's wait and see how it comes out on the other side. I can see why it's called okay. Yeah, not for me, this. Let's go get some proper food down me. Tell you what, my ass is in tatters.